Hello again, and welcome back to another one. And today we have an interesting discussion on Eminem that got rapper Mickey Facts involved. And he had a lot to share about Eminem in the past few hours. And many of you remember Mickey Facts from the period when Royce and Lupe Fiasco were going at it, and he stepped in to check Royce's boxes when he dissed Royce on Wraith. The song he accused Royce of writing Joe Biden checking boxes. Since then, some rap fans have been haunting Royce's socials requesting for a response. But perhaps, seeing as Wraith is Mickey's second biggest song on this platform, well, Royce probably thought it was best to leave it at that, though some believe Royce was scared to respond, we'll never know for sure. And now that we've got the brief history out of the way, a few hours ago, Mickey joined a discussion about Eminem's battles that was started by a user who first claimed, never in life have I said, put that Marshall Matters on, I said what I said. You'd think this was Game's Burner account, and this next tweet got Mickey's attention. Who did Eminem ever battle besides MGK and Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, Mariah Carey and Benzino? Flush face emoji. And some are tired of people putting all the responsibility on Eminem all the time. Go ask your faves why they ain't battling him outside of the game who clearly was looking for help for his album sales to pay his assault victim. Go ask your faves why they didn't make a diss track on him. Don't be selective and like it doesn't go both ways, it does. And before we get to Mickey's involvement, those who missed the memo on the history that led up to the Black Slim Shady added to the debate. Ish, he avoided the game, and Game used his style to diss him, and he said nothing. M only pick on pop artists, Cannibus was already out of the door, and blackballed when M dissed him. They always got excuses for everyone else but Eminem, Cannabis, El Jamar, Joe Budden, and this trend continued when a wild Mickey fact was also spotted under the thread where he also mentioned the game, but first he added in response to the post asking about Eminem battles. To your point, nobody with any true scary lyrical skills. The interesting part of this is, his loyal supporters will say the lyricists were too scared to engage and never said his name. Well, he kinda never said their name either. Perhaps it's time people start asking Jay, Wayne and Nas why they didn't diss Eminem in his prime. The onus is always on Eminem for some reason, but Mickey had more to add. He has an interview where he said he was in a really deep depression and he almost dissed Wayne and Kanye, but he never did. During that, if he did diss Wayne, his status in the rap community would have probably skyrocketed to heights unseen, especially if Wayne responded. Eminem already explained why he didn't diss them, he didn't have any legit reason to do so. But Mickey missed this fact and believes Eminem didn't diss Wayne because of the potential possibility of actually losing. Everyone loses, no one is above reproof. M sadly cherry picked. I love old M, but he never really faced anyone of spooky skills or called anyone out like that. Budden, lol, but he was in deep retirement mode. What did I say about the excuses for everyone else earlier? And while some brought up the likes of Ja and Cannibals for instance, he never really faced anyone of spooky skills. He had a back and forth with Cannibals and yes, Cannibals was an insanely scary rapper to battle considering he was known to battle people and destroy them. Others are confused as to why people like Mickey expect Eminem to get in random unfounded battles. If he was scared of losing, he wouldn't have been a battle rapper in the beginning of his career. He was in competition facing people with quote spooky skills. He's battle tested. He's not gonna start random beefs with people he respects in the industry just so y'all can be entertained. But perhaps proof that Mickey Fax was just talking to you know, just talk to stir up debates. When a user pointed this out, to be fair, Eminem only went after rappers who attacked him first. That's not cherry picking. Mickey responded with, where's the game this? Like the disc called Black Slim Shady, where Game really said he'd rather listen to Snitch 9 69 times than listen to Eminem, really? And when a user responded, you really think that was worth a response, laughing emoji, and when I say he's just talking for drama, here you go. LOL, no, LOL, but it's game bigger name than MGK. Apart from the hardcore anti-Eminem brigade, pretty much everyone agrees MGK did so much better than Game. Even Mickey is getting called out for even bringing up Game's this. You being as lyrical as you are, can't even suggest that attempt was good enough to warrant a response at this age, especially considering the only reason Game did it was for attention and not legit a rap battle. Same breath you can say Royce is bad too, which isn't true. Another ad, the game this song sounded like Tom McDonald Dear Slim, Skull Emoji. That game this got the producer denying any involvement. The Black Slim Shady. The first half. Let's talk about it. The first half, he paying homage to Slim. Okay. That was the first half I did. Uh and since he agrees that it wasn't worth a response but still brought it up, some concluded 
Game is looking for attention, like you, skull emojis. Ultimately, his answer to this, why do you want M to pick fights with other rappers for no reason, is because Eminem is scared of losing. But this speculation can be applied to any hip hop legend of GOAT status who never picked a fight with Eminem, it loses all its meaning. Suffice to say, Mickey has no answer to the question, why should Eminem pick a fight with other lyricists for no reason? What are your thoughts? And I'll rephrase the question, why do you think Jay, Nas or even Wayne never dissed Eminem? Feel free to speculate below in the comments section.